Welcome to iLectron Line. In this video, we're going to determine the intensity of the interference pattern fringes inside the diffraction central maximum. So at the very center, of course, we're going to get the maximum interference, um, and we're going to get the maximum intensity, not interference, but intensity. And the intensity, therefore, at the central maximum is simply going to be the number of, fringe, the number of slits squared times the intensity of a single beam. In this case, that's two slits squared times I sub naught, which is four times I sub naught. So the intensity of the central maximum is simply equal to four times I sub naught. But the intensity of the other fringes is going to be diminished by the intensity of the diffraction pattern. And so we're going to have to multiply ICM times some fraction. And that fraction is going to get smaller as we go further and further up. So we have to determine what this fraction is. And this fraction is made up of this portion right here, which is this part of the equation to determine the intensity of the interference pattern. Notice when we find the maximum of the interference pattern, this right here will always be equal to 1. So we can simply replace this by 1, and we have to then replace 1 times the fraction that's caused by the diffraction pattern. Now, that depends on the phase angle right here of each of those locations. Now remember that the phase angle at the very end right here, where we get our first minimum from the diffraction pattern, at this location right here, the phase difference is equal to 2 pi. That is the phase difference between the bottom and the top portion of the beam as it hits that portion, point on the screen. Now since these interference patterns are equally spaced out, and since there's five of them from the central maximum, one, two, three, four, five, that means the phase difference for each one of those is one-fifth 2 pi, which means that the phase difference to the first interference fringe right here that's equal to 1 fifth times 2 pi. The phase difference for the second one is 2 fifths times 2 pi. The phase difference of the third one is equal to 3 fifths times 2 pi. The phase difference of the fourth one is equal to 4 fifths times 2 pi. And then of course the last one, the phase difference of the fifth one is equal to 5 fifths times 2 pi, which is simply 2 pi, and that's where you get a minimum, that's where you get a zero intensity at that point. So you can say that the intensity at that point is equal to zero. Well, what's the intensity of those other ones? We have to find the fraction of the intensity at each one of those due to the, dif uh, the diffraction pattern. All right, so that means that F1 is equal to the sine of beta divided by 2, and of course for beta it would be 1 fifth, that would be 2 pi divided by 5 divided by 2. So it would be 2 pi divided by 5 divided by 2 divided by beta divided by 2, and beta is 2 pi over 5, so that's 2 pi over 5 divided by 2. And of course the 2's cancel out like that, and then we have to take the whole thing and we have to square it. Okay, so now what is the what is pi over 5? Well, pi is 180 degrees divided by 5. So we have 180 degrees divided by 5 equals, that's 36 degrees. So we can say that this is equal to the sine of 36 degrees divided by pi divided by 5. And this whole thing needs to be squared. Okay, so 36, take the sine of that. Then multiply it times 5 and divide by pi. Because when we divide by fraction, we multiply by the inverse. And then we have to square that number, and we get 0 0.875. So that means that I sub 1 is equal to 4 times I sub naught times that fraction sub 1, which is 0 0.875. So multiply times 4 and we get 3.5 I sub naught. So this is equal to 3.5 I sub naught. Okay, now for the second one, for the intensity at the second fringe, we need to find F sub 2. F sub 2 is equal to the sine of, so it's the phase difference divided by 2, so it's 2 fifths times 2 pi. So it's 2 fifths times 2 pi divided by 2, divided by the phase difference divided by 2, which is 2 times 2 pi over 5 divided by 2. All right, and then we take the whole thing and we square that. So notice that this cancels out. So then we have 2 pi divided by 5. That would be equal to the sine of 
30, oh, not 37, it'll be twice 36, which would be 72 degrees, divided by, let's see, that cancels out, so it would be 2 pi divided by 5. Okay, and of course I have to square that, can't forget, the square, so what's that equal to? So we take 72, take the sine of that, and multiply it times 5, divide by 2, and divide by pi. And then we square that, and we get 0 0.572. 0 0.572, and of course, then to find the intensity, I sub 2, that's equal to, um, see, I sub 2, where are we? yeah, that would be times, that would be 4 times that one, that would be 4I sub naught times 0 0.572, so multiply this times 4, and we get 2.29, 2.29 I sub naught, and that goes in here, 2.29 I sub naught. Okay, and so I think you're seeing the pattern. Well, let's do one more just to make sure we know how to do this. So now we're going to find the intensity of the third fringe. So F sub 3 is equal to the sine of phase difference is beta sub 3, which is 3 fifths times 2 pi. So it'd be 3 fifths times 2 pi divided by 2 because it's half that phase difference divided by 3 fifths times 2 2 pi divided by 2, and of course we have to take the whole thing and we have to square it, which is equal to the sine of 180 degrees divided by, let's see here, the 2's cancel out, that would be 3 pi divided by 5. And that's squared, okay? So we take 108, take the sine of that, and times 5, divided by 3 and divided by pi. And then we square that number and we get 0 0.255, 0 0.255, which means that the intensity of the third fringe is equal to 4 I sub naught times this new fraction, which is 0 0.255. So that's times 4 equals, and that's 1.02, 1.02 I sub naught. And that would be the intensity, 1.02 I sub naught for the intensity and so forth. So that's how you find the intensity of every one of the fringes. What you need to do is you need to find out what the phase difference is. And of course, we determine the phase difference for the five fringes are determined like this. It's always one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths of a full phase difference. Then you find the factor that determines the intensity when you have a diffraction. That would be the factor caused by this diffraction pattern right here of the central maximum. That has to be multiplied by the intensity of the interference pattern, which is going to be 1 in each case, because you're finding the maximum value for the interference pattern in each case. You multiply those two together, and that gives you the intensity of each one of the fringes. And that's how we do that. On the next video, we're going to show you how to find the intensity of any location inside this diffraction pattern. So if you're still interested, take a look at our next video as well.